good morning my dear students so now uh, so far we studied about the balancing of uh, rotating masses uh, okay now what do you mean by balancing and what are the different types of balancing and what are the main importance of uh, balancing why we need a balancing in uh, mechanical component system okay so that is about the first one and also we uh, studied and we solved the number of numerical problems on the balancing of rotating masses okay that is a related to second uh, that is about related to the first topic of module 2 now we are going to uh, uh, moving that is a uh, second uh, topic in that module 2 only that is balancing of reciprocating masses okay in the introduction class i told you what is the importance of uh, reciprocating masses and uh, what uh, why we need uh, why the reciprocating masses uh, occur in uh, that is uh, ic engine or steam engine okay so and, the, and what are the difference between the reciprocating masses and rotating masses okay so now uh, we are going to solve here some numerical problems uh, okay uh, of reciprocating masses uh, topic okay so normally the reciprocating uh, reciprocating masses occur in a normally in ic engine or steam engine okay the reciprocating masses are due to the mass of the piston or piston pin connecting rod okay in an ic engine okay so that causes a reciprocating motion in an ic engine okay so in for example uh, okay uh, for in a static uh, balancing of or reciprocating masses are resulted all the centrifugal forces should be equal to zero okay in dynamic balancing the resultant of the centrifugal forces and the resultant of couple must be equal to zero that is the main difference between uh, what the static balancing and dynamic balancing in reciprocating masses okay so uh, now we are going to solve the problems on uh, secondary balancing uh, inline engine okay so this is also similar to the balancing of uh, reciprocating masses but here we are going to get here going to uh, what we are going to consider here the centrifugal forces and couple uh, both the forces we are going to consider here okay so whereas in uh, uh, that is what in uh, uh, balancing of rotating masses we are not consider uh, that okay so here uh, we are going to solve if you solve one problem means you are going to understand uh, better okay so here uh, the question is given uh, like this uh, the, the here uh, that is uh, the crank uh, and connecting rod of a four cylinder inline engine running at a speed of 1800 rpm uh, okay r50 mm uh, that is 250 mm each respectively okay uh, the cylinder are uh, spaced uh, in between that is 150 mm apart okay if the cylinders are numbered 1 to 4 in a uh, sequence from one end to the other okay the, and uh, the cranks appear at interval of that is a uh, of 90 degree okay in uh, another in uh, end of the view in another end okay so in order to firing order is given the 1 2 4 4 2 2 2 2 3 okay the reciprocating masses correspond to the each cylinder is the mass is given that is 1.5 kg okay for the all the masses so determine the unbalanced uh, primary and the secondary forces if uh, it is uh, occur in a system okay second one is unbalanced primary and secondary couple with respect to the central plane to uh, the engine okay so this is the question they given okay so uh, one uh, ic engine part is given it is a crank and connecting rod of a four cylinder okay they given four cylinder in the okay engine and the fire order is given one four two three not one two three four okay so firing order is very very important uh consider while well, uh, constructing the that is a uh, four that is primary couple uh, force diagram and the couple polygon diagram in this uh, reciprocating masses okay so first step is uh, note on the, all the given data what they given okay so i uh, in first class i told you the list of formulas uh, related to the reciprocating of masses okay so here the speed is given that is capital n uh, it is denoted by capital n is 1800 rpm and uh, the radius is given that is a uh, 50 mm so if you convert uh, that is in meter it is in a standard unit okay 0 0.05 divided by 1000 means you're going to get 0 0.05 okay stroke that is a length is given uh, that is a uh, 250 mm okay that is again uh, that is convert into meter 0 0.25 divided by 1000 okay so mass is given for the, all the masses 1.5 kg okay so n is given that is a ratio of that is given okay uh, we need to calculate in this uh, the again okay you again uh, to solve this paper uh, this type of rotating reciprocating masses balance uh, we have the oblique ratio okay so that is n is called as an oblique uh, oblique ratio okay that is that is defined as the ratio of length divided by radius okay so length is given radius is given if you divide that uh, 0.25 to 0.05 is equal to 5 this n is required okay so for that we are going to calculate this oblique ratio okay so here uh, look at the uh, here we are concerned here i constructed two diagram okay so here just uh, first diagram indicate the position of the planes and figure this is that is a uh, angular position okay so here the four masses is given mass 1 2 3 4 okay so along with that they given 1 to 2 uh, that is the distance that is the length 0.15 okay so here uh, second one is uh, that is 0 0.15 0 0.15 all length are same okay so here the reference plane how we are going to resume uh, how we are going to assume the reference plane uh, read the question here okay so here uh, the running at a speed 150 rpm uh, and 250 uh, 
the cylinder are spaced 150 mm apart okay so 150 uh, if you divide that 150 apart so you are going to get what one uh, reference plane okay so we are going to consider the middle of in between the center plane that is 1 to 4 in several from one end and the other crank up, uh, appears at a interval of 90 degree okay so uh, if you total 150 means divided by that you are going to get uh, some values okay so that is uh, in between that we are going to assuming as a reference plane okay that is uh, 0.075 and 0.075 okay that is uh, from that distance onward we are going to consider as what uh, the zero length okay so left hand side left hand side from the reference plane uh, you are going to measure the negative values that is an use negative sign and the right hand side you are going to consider as positive value from the reference plane okay so come to the uh, coming to the figure b so this is about uh, uh, the what the position of the plane here the they given firing order 1 4 2 3 okay so look at here the 1 4 2 3 according uh, according to that only you have to construct here okay 1 4 2 3 and angle between each is they give a 90 degree okay so 90 degree you can measure which is uh, rotated in an, uh, what uh, uh, this clockwise direction okay mm, that is uh, ang with an angular speed as omega okay so this is about the diagram so once if you uh, same similar to how we are going to solve the reciprocating problem that is uh, balancing of rotating muscles okay first you write uh, note down the given data construct the block diagram that is the position of plane again here also you need to construct a one tabular column okay so that is here the given planes 1 2 3 4 mass is uh, same for all the masses that is 1 point for you 1 point for you 1 point for you 1 point for you okay radius is given that is one uh, that is a uh, what 0 0.05 and 0 0.05 0 0.05 0 0.05 for the all the plane that is all the masses okay so here the coming to the fourth column that is the centrifugal force that is formalized m into r so centrifugal force formula is what m into r if you multiply this 1 point for you into 0 0.05 you are going to get 0 0.075 like that you are going to multiply all the masses you are going to common value that is 0 0.07 for you okay coming to the distance from uh, reference plane okay that is the fifth column how we are going to measure this is very very important how to we are going to measure okay here we are going to consider the reference plane in between them okay so here 0 to that is reference plane to 2 that is what uh, here distance is 0 0.075 is there again from 0 to 1 is uh, if you add those you are going to get that 0 0.075 okay so that is uh, why we are going to consider as negative values because from the reference plane we are going to consider as negative value that is minus 0 0.225 and uh, again uh, 0 to uh, that is 1 is minus 0 0.075 and this side right hand side if you measure the length is 0 0.075 and 0 0.225 okay if you measure like length okay from the reference plane to 3 that is 0 0.075 again from ref reference plane to 4 just to add both that you are going to get that values okay 0 0.225 okay so once if you construct this tabular column is the once if you wrote down these all these values go for the couple polygon okay so couple is equal to what in the last class i told you okay that is the formula is m into r into l okay so here mass is 1.5 you into radius is m into 0 0.05 and the, the distance from the reference plane that is l is equal to minus 0 0.225 you are going to multiply that you are going to get what minus 0 0.016875 for you okay like that you have to multiply you are going to get uh, minus 5.6 uh, into 10 to the power of minus 3 for the second mass and the third mass is 5.62 into 10 to the power of 3 and uh, last the fourth uh, mass is 0 0.01687 okay so this is about the construction of the table that is a tabular form okay based on this only we need to calculate the force power that is a uh, unbalanced forces uh, producing this uh, okay uh, in this uh, power that is in this system okay in this IC engine so now uh, very very important uh, listen very carefully okay how we are going to construct okay so here uh, let me understand first uh, unbalanced primary forces and the couple diagram you have to construct okay so primary uh, crank position is what uh, same uh, what that is a position given in the uh, question okay so 1 to 4 90 degree again 4 to uh, 2 90 degree and 4 to 3 uh, 90 degree okay so that is rotated in uh, some angular velocity omega okay so that is called as a primary crank position okay come to this uh, primary force polygon okay if it is not closed then there is a chance of calculating the unbalanced force if suppose if it is closed one so there is no need of uh, calculating the couple uh, that is a primary force polygon okay so here uh, see same for based on the firing order also you have to construct here okay firing order is given 1 4 2 3 okay based on that no no uh, don't con construct what 1 2 3 4 okay so uh, so wherever you otherwise better you write here the firing order is given 1 4 2 3 according to that we are going to construct okay so 1 2 2 so 1 2 2 is what uh, the 1 2 the firing order is, order is 1 2 4 so 1 2 4 is minus that is sorry 0 0.2 2 for you okay so that uh, you have to uh, take the initial is what uh, the initial one to that is minus 0 0.75 only so initial one is uh, that is what 0 0.075 for you 
okay that is a force polygon take the tabular column of uh, that is force polygon diagram those values you have to construct okay so initially is 0.0750 so construct okay that is uh, 0.075 okay second one is with an angle of 90 degree that is very important okay so don't consult horizontal because the angle is given 90 degree okay so again uh, 1 to 4 1 to 4 is what again 1 to 4 again 0.075 angle is 90 degree okay so that is also over okay so next again from b to that is again from uh, uh, this what uh, again from the next that is uh, 4 to 2 again the distance that is length is given 0 0.075 with an angle of 90 degree again uh, last one 3 is again uh, distance is given 0 0.075 so again here what uh, the uh, angle is 90 degree okay so this is close one we got okay so here and uh, we are not joining any here not uh, uh, we are not going to uh, join any of the line because based on the problem only we form this uh, what this polygon we are it is closed one okay so there is a no chance of calculating the any forces induced in this element okay so hence uh, here the primary force also completed okay come to the primary couple polygon how you are going to construct here same only for the last values okay uh, the tabular column uh, last value okay so here one is what minus 0 0.016 okay so that angle is 90 degrees given so 0 to a so look at that at uh, the point 1 0 to a 1 okay based on uh, according to fire that is a firing of engine only you have to construct this diagram okay don't construct uh, as usual regular 1 2 3 4 okay so 0 to a so uh, length angle is given 90 degree and length is also given okay again you are going to get a new point a okay from a to b again uh, a to b okay a to b is equal to what here uh, a to b second minus 5.6 that is what a to b that is not a to b a to uh, 4 that is 1 to 4 1 to 4 is what 1 to 4 is uh, uh, 0 0.016 uh, that is given 0 0.016 I, again angle is 90 degree okay again from 4 to 2 so 4 to 2 is again minus 5.625 that you construct again from c to d is c to d again third one is 0 point that is what uh, plus 5.623 I, angle is given 90 degree okay so you are going to get a d point okay but we don't know the d word distance just you construct okay so that uh, dotted line that joint line is called as unbalanced primary couple okay that you need to calculate okay so this is about the primary couple polygon i will repeat here uh, the all the diagram here primary and uh, uh, second that is primary force polygon and primary couple polygon you need to construct based on the fire engine firing order okay so in the primary force polygon we already it is a, a closed one so there is no of there is no force generated in that so you need to calculate whereas here in the primary couple polygon we are not joined so due to both that is a unbalanced primary couple that you need to calculate okay how we are going to calculate that okay so here i wrote here the portion of the primary cranks are shown in the figure a and the primary forces polygon is drawn as shown in the figure b okay it is closed figure there is no need of uh, uh, generating the unbalancing okay but uh, here there are no unbalanced primary force though therefore unbalanced primary couple is induced in the last diagram that is figure c so that is denoted by upc that is unbalanced primary couple that can be calculated by od that is the length of od you have to take the scale uh, to measure the od distance okay so od into scale omega square so this is a new formula whereas in balancing of reciprocating masses we are not uh, used this omega square okay omega square we have the formula that is 2 pi n by 60 whole square okay just to substitute that formula you are going to get unbalanced force for couple is 565.6 newton meter okay so this is about the unbalanced primary couple polygon and primary force uh, that is couple polygon and force polygon okay similarly you need to calculate that unbalanced uh, secondary forces and the unbalanced that is a couple okay so this figure is very simple okay secondary okay so now figure a shows uh, what i drawn here that is the secondary crank position and the secondary force polygon and the secondary couple polygon okay so let me understand figure first a so here you have to multiply the two theta that is uh, rotated in 2 omega okay you have to multiply uh, 192 and uh, that is 194 and 3 okay so if you multiply that is an uh, position of the secondary that is the secondary crank position okay so 1 to 2 1 to 4 is 90 degree again uh, so again next one is 90 degree okay you have to take the two values here okay so look at here diagram only better okay so here uh, firing order is given so what firing order is 1 to 4 2 to 3 1 is 1 to 4 is 90 again 4 is what 4 to 2 is 90 and 2 to 3 is again 90 so 90 plus 90 is equal to 180 so that you have to construct here okay so 1 to uh, 4 so 90, 90 plus 90 is 180 degree again 2 to 3 is 180 degree okay so that is into you have to multiply 2 into omega omega what is uh, whatever whatever uh, what value you are going to get that you uh, into you have to make it into 
टू ओके सेकेंड रिमोज टू थीटा अदरवाइज बेटर यू टेक द एंगल इज टू थीटा ओके टू इंटू दिस प्रीवियस एंगल ओके सो वन टू 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 सो एंड नॉर्मल एंगल इज गो नाइंटी डिग्री मल्टीप्लाई टू मीन टू इंटू नाइंटी इज वन एटी डिग्री ओके सो यू हैव टू कंसेप्ट वन एटी वन एटी सो यू आर गोइंग टू गेट लाइक दिस ओके सो दिस इज द सेकेंडरी क्रैंक पोजिशन ओके सो कमिंग टू द बी फिगर सेकेंडरी फोर्स पॉलीगन ओके सो सेकेंडरी फोर्स पॉलीगन हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू कंस्ट्रक्ट हियर सो फ्रॉम द दिस डायग्राम ओके सो लुकेट हियर द रेफरेंस प्लेन जीरो टू to again uh, reference plane to 1 okay so uh, at the middle of the plane uh, uh, so right hand side you are going to consider as negative values left hand you are going to consider as positive value okay so that only i drawn here so can, let draw in you know, 90 degree okay so one line so 0 to a 1 to 2 and 1 uh, to 2 and uh, here down is 3 4 is there okay so that is the distance is given 0.075 and uh, that is 0 to a so again a to b 0.075 is given so here okay so here uh, consider this is about the reference plane 0 to a is given 0.075 again 0 to 2 that is 0.075 okay that distance is given okay while well, coming down why we are going to consider here down on because it is negative value is there so 0.075 c and again from c to d is 0.075 so this is about the central secondary force polygon okay so coming to the secondary couple polygon uh, based on the engine firing out only how to construct the, okay so here the secondary force polygon is equal to they given what the reference is Zero uh, to that is zero uh, to a that is one and one to two that is a to b and two to three and three to four. Zero uh, to d you have to consider. Okay, so total is what uh, that is a uh, that is a unbalanced secondary forces, unbalanced secondary couple. Okay, so secondary couple polygon uh, you have to consider because this is value we don't know. Okay, so for that we have to construct here the position of the secondary crank as shown in the figure A and the secondary uh, forces polygon is drawn as shown in the figure B. But it is a closed one. There is no need. Hence there are no unbalanced secondary forces. But unbalanced secondary couple we have to calculate. That is O D is into square omega by omega square by and this is a new formula in secondary whereas in the primary case we studied we using only the omega square value okay so here uh, unbalanced secondary couple is equal to od into scale into omega square by n so substitute all the values you are going to get um, uh, what this unbalanced secondary couple is equal to 319.8 newton meter so this is the unbalanced force we need to calculate from the uh, given question this is about your answer okay i hope you understand this okay secondary couple polygon uh, okay so just you multiply d into 2 that's all okay so this is about the unbalanced secondary forces and unbalanced uh, primary uh, force and couple okay so here in the reciprocating masses you need to calculate what unbalanced primary force and couple unbalanced secondary force and couple you are going to get the four diagrams so from that you need to calculate the what the unbalanced primary couple and unbalanced primary that is secondary couple okay so this is about the problem of this so i hope you understand this uh, okay Oh thank you very much